Hey guys, it's me, I'm Ramonica, and this time I'm back with a little vlog, I guess you can say. And I would like to apologize, first of all, how filmy and grainy this webcam seems to be, because I'm doing it through a webcam, and so I'm sorry about that. But, however, I'm here for a little vlog on life advice for, you know, college students who pretty much, um, you know, feel like they're in a rut type of situation. Like, they feel that, you know, they're going nowhere. But, you know, sometimes you just gotta remember exactly why is it that you started going to school in the first place, you know? It's like, one of my friends has a wallpaper on her phone that goes like, if we ever feel like quitting, you know, remember why you started. And, you know, that's kind of true because I've seen throughout my whole college career, a lot of people I know end up quitting college. But anyway, so what I'm basically saying is, you know, sometimes you feel like you've been in school for a long time. And that's very understandable for people who, are, you know, have continued to go to school from kindergarten all the way up to college. And, you know, I just want to give tell people that, you know, don't give up. If you're one of those people who's actually trying to become something, you know, every little step you take counts. So that's pretty much what I'm here to tell you that, you know, um, if you ever feel like you're on the verge of quitting, don't quit. Um, every little step gets you closer to your goal. And I'm pretty sure everybody has like their own little thing. There has to be something that's pushing you forward towards your career, you know. But, you know, it's like I'm saying, you got to go. You got to continue to be strong. Keep on going. You're not the only one who's feeling unaccomplished. Trust me, there's thousands of people out there who are feeling that they aren't, like, they're not going anywhere. But it's like every little step, every little day, every little time you go to class, take that time and effort to go. And you go ahead and you go home and you put more study time and all that stuff. You know, it's going to get you somewhere eventually. It might look like it's being really slow and all that. But take, think about this, you know, you started off kindergarten and you went all the way to high school. Yeah, it was about 12 years. So it's like, and if you think about that, that was kind of like a blink of an eye right there. It's like that passed so fast that it's kind of the same thing right now when you're in college. You know, it's by the time you stop and you look behind you, you're going to notice how far you've come along. So... Whatever you do, don't stop. Keep on going. Now, if you come in with problems about, like, money and stuff, then you got to learn how to save. Like, some people recommend you to save 30%, but no. Try to save as much as possible. You'd be surprised to find out how many people out there have less than $100 in their bank account. I don't know about you, but that's pretty sad. you got to become your own boss. you got to, like... Do your own thing. You can't just like rely on people once you're in college. You know who? Because if you think about it, why are you going to college? You know, you're obviously going to better yourself. You know, you want a better life. Obviously, like college is not the only way to a better life, but it's like it's something that's going to have as your backup plan. I just want to tell you that you're not feeling alone in once you realize you're like fudge i don't know where i'm going with this especially i just want to tell you too like let's say you have a major in mind right and at one point you just start feeling insecure about that major hey stop it's okay you know if that's not the thing you want to do anymore there's still time to go back and switch it you know people switch their majors all the time it actually took me like five years to realize that what I wanted to do was not what I wanted to do in reality. I thought I wanted to do it, but it turned out I did not fit well in that setting. So I ended up going to something that I really wanted to do, wanted to do once I figured it out. Um, and luckily, I was able to, you know, do it in time where nothing I was doing was getting affected. Yeah, I spent a lot of time, you know, studying my major but once I realized that wasn't really what I wanted to do which I already had an idea back in community college that you know that's not the path I wanted to take you know what I'm gonna go ahead and do what I want to do 
And it turns it turns out that you know even though it can be hard because you know it is rigorous to continue on a much different path. Um, you get the hang of it and you continue to go on. So if at one point you find yourself that you're unhappy with your major, you know, it's okay to go ahead and change it. Especially while you're still young. It takes time for the human being to know what it really wants to do in life. So if you ever feel bummed that you don't even know what you're going for anymore, just stop and like, just stop, catch your breath and figure out what you really want to do. I just want to give you guys hope that, you know, it's never too late to switch your major. Never too late. And it's never too late to, you know, finish school. Like, I met so many people already. They're, like, way older. And, you know, it's like, and people that are my age. And they feel so down because they're like, I'm this old already. And I still don't complete college. But I just want to tell you that it's fine because a lot of people nowadays begin their careers like at the age of 30. So, you know, you're still inside that window. And I just want to tell you that, you know, just keep going and that everything is going to be okay. Because it is. And then, like I said, one time, one day, you're going to turn back. You're going to um, look at all your past and history. And you're going to be so proud of yourself. And, you know, you just have to be. A lot of people say they don't feel accomplished. But, you know, you just got to remember that, you know, you, you've you worked so hard. And for you to not feel accomplished, you know, it's just like, just try your best, you know. Because we only got, like, one life and so you know you gotta do the best you can you know and as they say do what feels good keep your faith in god keep your faith in yourself and you'll slowly find happiness you know so i'm just here to tell you you know that you can do this and don't quit or as shay labeouf whatever his name is goes like just do it <laughs> so like I said go ahead remember you're a superstar that's so nerdy but it's true and one each step you take gets you forward it's like you're more here you started off here you're already here why stop now right so that's pretty much what I wanted to tell you guys today <laughs>